All right, so I'm at uh, Innotrans. Obviously, I am here next to the Siemens hydrogen train, uh, which was launched recently. Um, and I'm now with Joch, who is a Joch and is a project a product uh, expert. And um, we're just going to contextualize hydrogen because everybody wants to get onto the hydrogen train. And I think specifically in the Southern African or African region where we are constricted in terms of electricity and various other infrastructure, that hydrogen seems to be a good idea going forward. But what is the business case for it? It's an expensive asset to invest in. Yes, of course. Uh, when just looking to Europe, there are still 15,000 diesel trains in operation. And all the countries have set climate targets for reducing CO2 emissions. So there must be an investment. We have to replace the diesel trains and the hydrogen train is one solution. And therefore Siemens Mobility invested in a platform train, we call it Mirio, that is capable of carrying three different technologies. The regular electrical technologies with a pantograph, the battery technology, as well as the hydrogen tonic technology. Okay, so let's look at it from an investment perspective. So the hydrogen train is, is you know, quite expensive at an initial investment perspective. Right. Right. What is, over the life cycle, so let's call it 30, 40 years, when, when would an operator break even? I mean, just, just imagine a simple example. You have your diesel car and you have to go to service with your diesel car for the diesel engine one time a year. Oh. So, and you run about 10 to 20,000 kilometers per year. So a train runs 20,000 kilometers per month. So imagine you have to go to service every month. And with a hydrogen train, which is in, as a base, it is an electrical train, this, this maintenance effort is completely gone. Mm. So you can imagine that the life cycle costs in terms of one-time investment, plus the maintenance, plus the energy costs over 30 years of lifetime is lower than a diesel train. Mm. So, but of course, the first time investment is higher, yes. And then from, from a maintenance perspective, I mean, you've got the fuel cells and then you've got the, yeah. I think I would assume lithium batteries if I'm not mistaken. So how often do those need to be checked, looked at, replaced? Electrical components are regularly maintenance free. The fuel cell itself, the stacks needs to need to be exchanged. Yeah. And um, if you exchange it too often, okay, this will increase your maintenance efforts and your life cycle costs. And that's the reason why Siemens Mobility spent $10 million in the development of a next generation fuel cell with a higher life expectancy. So we have a life expectancy of 35,000 hours compared to 10,000 hours of a regular market available fuel cell. Mm. So, and that makes a difference. All right, so what infrastructure does one need to have a hydrogen train and how does Siemens Mobility support or assist customers in, in that kind of infra yeah. infrastructure? So the hydrogen train is to be filled up with gaseous hydrogen on a 350 bar basis and there needs to be a filling station that is to be coupled to the train and uh, the specialty of this train is we have a fast filling option. Mm -hmm. So if the, if the infrastructure is capable of communicating with the train, we can exchange data and proceed and accelerate this filling process. And um, that's the reason why we went into a partnership with Deutsche Bahn here in Germany and uh, doing the development of this fast filling option and the infrastructure together. But for every client in the world, we are looking for the right partners like air products like Linde or Deutsche Bahn Energy to provide our customers not only the train, but a complete solution with our partners. All right, and then the future of hydrogen. So obviously, I mentioned right in the beginning, Africa has uh, not such great power. We, we lack in some infrastructure aspects. What would the future be for hydrogen in terms of high speed and freight? Uh, or look, where is Siemens thinking around this? So we started our hydrogen business with regional trains because this was kind of low hanging fruit because the diesel trains need to be replaced. And we are also thinking about hydrogen locomotives, of course. Um, but we are mainly focusing on uh, the US market first because mm -hmm. there's a need for this application. But for high speed, it's from our perspective not relevant because you need such a high power. And even these high speed trains, especially here in Germany, 
they have a high frequency of traveling. So um, a lot of power is required continuously. So the electrification is the, the optimum solution for that. So concentration on the regional trains first and this train will also be extended as a two-car train to more cars mm. and then concentrating on locomotives as well. All right, so electrically powered traditional cantineries, yeah. overheads is, in your view, still the way to go for high this speed. Is, this is the most efficient solution for getting power to the train for every train. But it's not possible at all for certain tunnels, for um, wide ranges, and you can imagine that an electrification of one kilometer is about one million euro. So does it make sense when a train is operating one time an hour? Yeah. No. Okay, so let's just touch back on one more thing. Um, you were talking about the communication between the train and let's say the next filling station. Yeah. Um, how much new technology in terms of that data and that communication is being put into these trains and how does it all come together? I mean this is not not purely a mechanical train, this is mm -hmm. a just a digitalized train. So it also has a predictive operation system on board so the driver gets information how to perfectly drive in a most efficient way and even the exchange of data to the filling station and also to the end customer. So this is a complete digitalized train and it's collecting all the data, sending it to the infrastructure side and back. So we're not talking about a mechanical train anymore. This is just high sophisticated digitalized train. Thank you very much for your time.